Welcome back to our primer right now. We have our friends from FC Meralco, Manila. We got Bella and Waco joining us. Go ahead, throw the first question. <laughs> well, uh, Waco, you've been around, uh, you've been in the Philippines for quite some time now. You know, you you you, you came from uh, you you were born and raised in, in Madrid, in Madrid yeah. and uh, you're representing a big city too in yeah. in, in Manila. Well, any any club in Spain remind you of uh, your uh, current club now? Uh, well, I hope that we can make a team as big as Real Madrid is. I'm from Madrid. I'm born and raised in Madrid, and I'm a Real Madrid fan. So yeah, of course, it's a, a dream. Like if the team from Manila can be as big as uh, Real Madrid is in Madrid and Spain and the rest of the world, yeah. It's look, a big look, thing. Yeah, definitely. Looking forward to the new format that's yeah, going to be, that, that you're going to be facing now. Yeah, very season. exciting. Yeah, uh, I've been here since 2012, so it's uh, my fifth my fifth season in, in the league. At least uh, now everything will represent a city or a region with their home uh, stadium and it's going to be much uh, more exciting than, than before, definitely, yeah. Well, Bella, um, you're uh, this is your first year as a as general manager. What are, what are, what are, what have been the, the the biggest challenges for you? As a uh, the biggest challenges, I guess it's the same for most of the clubs. There's been a lot of um, uh, uncertainty, as we all know, as to when we are going to start. We were meant to start this weekend. Now we, it's pushed back to May sixth. But now that that's done and dusted, uh, we're looking forward to it. Um, I mean, it's the same challenges as everyone, I guess. Uh, just putting together, although we've been a team for about six years now, it's still putting together for a bigger stage. It's a national league compared to the UFL previously. So uh, just getting everything in order, logistically, all the players prepared for a long season, those are some of the challenges this year. Um, you know, Veralco um, has been a, a powerhouse club. No? It's considered as one of the contenders uh, every year but you know what uh, does the club need to do to get over that hump you know it, it seems like there's a there's a there's a barrier there that you you kind of fall short sometimes and now uh, this is a bigger challenge uh, Waka, what do you think does the club need to, to get yeah. over that hump last uh, last two years we've been there but not yet so definitely everyone needs to step up uh, players, management, coaches, everyone needs to uh, give it more to, to get there to the, um, the teams that right now they are on top uh, of us, like uh, Global and Sellers, they, they finish ahead of us. So we definitely need to, to give a bit extra to, to get there. Being on the pitch, you see what's happening. From your personal opinion, what do you need to do? What, what have you seen that the other clubs were able to do? That's why they were able to get on top. And what do you think you need to tell your teammates in order for you guys to get to that level? Well, in um, in one game we've I mean we've beaten already uh, Ceres and right. Global. It's a uh, it's a long race. That matters. It's not just uh, one game. So it's one on the daily basis where we need to improve and work hard on training and uh, to to form a, a strong roster of players and everything. So that's what I think we we need the most. Yeah. Uh, Bella, you, you've uh, you've uh, appointed uh, a coach uh, Iris Kaslib for for this PFL. The, coach Iris is, is one of the uh, best coaches, uh, uh, homegrown coaches. We have, um, you know, what are your expectations in, in his first season? Knowing that uh, he is quite familiar with some of the players and and he's also uh, even recruited some of his uh, former players. So. Well, my expectations have been met in the preseason in terms of him being able to really organize the team early on. Uh, for us, obviously, um, just stemming from your question earlier, it's like obviously the centerpiece of the team has always been Phil and James' young husband. Uh, I think uh, where we lacked before is where uh, we create a system that suits our key players. We have a bunch of them, Wako being one of them, and uh, adding a few younger players and just making the system tailor-fit to our um, to our team. Uh, I think that's what uh, we failed to do previously and I'm expecting Coach Iris to be able to make use of all our players and be as flexible as possible in especially with the long season ahead. What's the immediate target as far as you're concerned? What particular stage do you want to be able to reach as early as now? I mean before the league is actually started 
from your opinion, where do you think you should be able to go to consider yourself a success? Um, of course, <laughs> no one Everybody wants, wants a title, there's no question. But, you know, to be honest, like, just gauging, like, watching the preseason games and observing what we've seen from the AFC matches of Global and Ceres, I, I sincerely think that we built a champion team. I don't know, it just has all the, all the ingredients for a champion team. We have the key players, we have the role players, and we have a good system. We don't have just one system that we're going to be using this year. You're going to be looking forward to seeing our players playing in different positions. Uh, uh, Phil and James, different. Kurt Dizon, all, uh, all of these guys are flexible. So we're, we're ready for any team. Oh, interesting. And uh, I think uh, Meralco is one of the, the clubs that have been really active yes. when it comes to youth football. You know, how, how important is this? And I know it's uh, a requirement for the for PFL clubs before getting that franchise Correct. that you have this uh, you have youth teams and then, you know talk about how the, the uh, youth development aspect uh, for the club. So um, in developing our program for the coming year, so signing as Sadelf mentioned, we signed Coach Ayes Kaslib, and with signing him comes looking for more than just a one year plan. This is definitely a eight to ten year plan that we're looking at here. So youth development helps us uh, train them in all our values and all our systems at a young age uh, and then move on, progress to our youth team. And there's this one quote particularly that comes into mind that uh, Coach Aya shares in our presentations about the youth. It's from Arsene Venga that we do not buy superstars, we make superstars. So um, that's how important youth football is to Meralco. We want to be able to develop our own future superstars. And in fact, they've uh, actually, you know, even their, their CSR programs are, Correct. are geared towards the youth. So it's football for peace and, and uh, a few uh, programs as well. I think they're, you're, you guys are bringing in some of your... I, I, I was in the press conference uh, a couple of days ago. You, you guys are, are bringing in uh, some of the kids that, uh, from conflict areas to help out your... your uh, to, to, to train them here, right? Yes, on May 2nd, Waco, along with the rest of the Sparks, will be coaching the uh, 300 kids from conflict areas in Mindanao, such as Sulu, Tawi-Tawi, Basilan, Zamboanga, and be showing them um, another life uh, so, through football. So any chance, maybe, just maybe you can find the players yeah. there eventually. We've been doing the program for four years now. So, I mean, the, what started as 12 years old when we first started this program, they're 16 now, so they might be ripe. We might be able to situate them in an, uh, here in Manila, where they, they have more chances. Right. You know, Waka, from a personal point of view, do you like doing that, giving back to the community, yeah, talking to these kids, imparting your knowledge to them? Yeah, especially with kids. I, I, I love to spend time with them, and, and I, it's something I, I always like to do, uh, to coach kids and just to see, um, of course, situation of uh, some areas in the Philippines mm -hmm. and to be able to give to the community, as it's, a, it's always a pleasure and an honor to, to be able to spend time with them. I think this will be a, a third or fourth time we we coach them in a clinic, like it's uh, yeah, like 300, it's a lot of, of kids, but it's fun. And, and I think they also have a good time and they, they like the experience and they see they can, this life uh, outside their, their community. So it's really, really nice to, to experience that, yeah. Well, we thank you for your time. Before we let them go, final thoughts, obviously, from both of you for the upcoming season. Uh, well, definitely, uh, fight for a championship. Uh, it's, um, it's the first year of the PFL. And looking forward to, to get a trophy, trophy and uh, hopefully represent the Philippines in the AFC Cup as one of the clubs in, in that tournament. So definitely fight for a championship, yeah. Well, you're fans in Manila. In Yo, yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh, yeah. We want, to, we want to invite as much fans as possible, not only to watch it on PTV4, but to come over to Rizal Memorial Stadium and all the other venues that you can to watch the Philippines Football League live. and. A special request, or we would like to say hi to the YFL youth parents of the under 11 Moralco Sparks Academy. Ito mo hindi niya nakalimutan yun eh, di ba? Yun yung kasi <laughs> fans na nila yun, instant fans yun. Kasama yung ano, yung mga kids na magkikilig. Exactly. 300 fans na yun. Yeah. Nandag mo pa yung nanay, that parents. They will be oh. there on their first match. Oh, so there you go. You see, that's built-in fan base right there. <laughs> Once again, thank you very much. We'll take a break. When we come back, more to discuss. Happy Friday.